Hey, what's the easiest way to learn a language? Oh my God, I get asked that question so often. Patri, how can I learn English and Spanish easily? The answer is by watching TV. You like watching TV, don't you? Wouldn't you agree that it would be great if we could just watch TV and at the same time learn a language? When I give you that answer, you normally tend to say, that sounds good, I'm kind of into that, however, how do I do it? I agree, it does have quite a technique to it if you want to make the most of it. And I am going to tell you what technique I think is best for you to follow if you want to do that. And at the very, very end, I will tell you what the best Spanish shows are to learn Spanish on Netflix. According to me. No te preocupes que yo te lo cuento todo. I'm gonna tell you everything, I'm gonna spill the beans. Venga, vamos. If you are a beginner, si eres principiante, and you're not a kid, which I'm assuming you're not, if you're not a child, we know that children learn in very different ways. Children, their language acquisition is like this. It just happens like by magic. We don't have that superpower anymore. We need to develop other techniques. If you're a beginner, you are going to struggle at the beginning. Let's be honest. No va a ser fácil. Fácil no va a ser, ya te lo digo. So my advice would be don't try to understand every single word or even phrases. Try to focus on spotting those keywords. Get familiar with the pronunciation. Start training your ear. Get adjusted to the rhythm, to the crazy pace of the language. Okay, but start to become familiarized with listening to that language, whether that is Spanish, English, or I don't know, Chinese. <laughs> and of course, at the beginning, English subtitles are needed. If English is your mother tongue, put on those English subtitles. However, and this is what I love about it, I've got a good trick for this. Because I've always wanted to have those double subtitles because they used to help me so much. I even use them nowadays so, so much because it helps me develop my translation skills further. How do I do that? I do this with LingoPie. And what is LingoPie? LingoPie, it's an amazing app for learning languages whilst watching TV. I discovered it a while ago, a few months ago, and I've been so impressed with it. I use it all the time to help with my translation skills. My English husband, you know he's slacking big time with learning Spanish. He loves to use it because, you know, he likes that kind of lazy approach to learning languages, and it's fantastic for it because it gives you the double subtitles and that saves us a ton of time time. It saves us so much time. You don't have to look up the word. You don't have to write it down. No, nothing at all. It's all in there. It's all in the app. Because if you don't know a word, you don't have to look it up, my friend. Yes, of course it appears there in the double subtitles, but you can even click on the word. Milado. You click on it and it automatically shows the meaning and it adds it to your flashcards. What? Yes, you get flashcards. It's amazing because then you can test your level using the flashcards. You can quiz yourself, test yourself. I love it. They have such good variety of shows over there. You can pick the type of Spanish that you want to learn. If you're looking at a series from, I don't know, Colombia or Mexico or, or Spain, you can pick a mix if you want. And also you can link it to your Netflix account to make it even easier. And now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, yes, that's if I get to hear the word because Spaniards talk. Hablamos muy deprisa, eso es verdad. Todos lo sabemos que los españoles hablamos muy, muy, muy deprisa. I know we speak quick, guys. In order to help you with that, LingoPie, that also know about this, have developed this slow down feature. ¿Sabes? Se me está ocurriendo un truquito para que pases más tiempo con tus hijos. Pues a ver. And if you're thinking, this is great for listening, but oh, I wish I could practice my pronunciation. Deseo concedido. You can practice your pronunciation. Podéis practicar la pronunciación. Elige la frase, you pick your phrase that you want to practice, and then you repeat after it. And they check if your pronunciation is right or wrong. En mi caso, lo hice muy bien. If this all sounds good to you, if this all sounds like this is right up your street and you would like to learn a language using this app, all you have to do is check the link in my bio. At the moment, there's 70% off. Or if you're unsure and you just want to give it a try, you can always try it for free for seven days. You won't regret it. As you move on in your learning language, you're feeling a bit more confident with it. At the beginning, like I said, focus on keywords, keywords, Obviously, if you have the option of having the double subtitles, amazing. If not, keep the English subtitles on. If you're an intermediate learner, you should start paying attention to the phrases, okay? Sentences, to that language structure. How does the language actually work? 
¿Qué hora es? ¿Qué hora es? Phrases like that, okay? Because believe it or not, there's many phrases that we use all the time in the same way. Such as, I don't know, for example, ¿Qué hora es? What's the time? And then if you are consistent, remember that consistency is everything in life, really. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for consistency, guys. <laughs> so consistency is everything. If you are consistent and you get to that advanced level that you are looking to achieve, you can challenge yourself. You need to start looking at more complex grammar structures, the idioms. You can fully immerse yourself now in that native level. You can pay attention to accents, slang variations, to idioms, okay? Por ejemplo, hablando del rey de Roma, speaking of the devil. Hablando del diablo? <laughs> Me gusta más la del rey de Roma. And of course, at this point, you are almost fluento, mi amigo. Remember that fluento is not a word. I use it as a joke. <laughs> no, es una palabra, ¿vale? <laughs> so, you're almost fluent in the language. You should be using the subtitles only in the target language. Saying this, you know what I do? Once I've mastered two languages, I put the subtitles in the other language. So for example, whenever I'm watching TV in English at home, the subtitles are always in Spanish. Not because I don't understand, but because idioms and translations, and you know, I do a lot of translations with my videos, that helps me so much to become a better translator. And when I'm watching them in Spanish, I always put the subtitles in English. Not only because my husband is walking around, maybe even trying to watch the series with me, but because it helps me a lot. So even if you think, I'm fluent in two languages, I don't need the subtitles. They help so much with spelling, with translation, with getting to know different idioms. I mean, I'm a geek for translating, I love it, but I honestly find it fascinating. Y ahora, lo prometido es deuda. I'm going to fulfill that promise and tell you what the best Spanish shows are to learn Spanish on Netflix. You always ask me, do you have any recommendations? Do you know what I should watch? Should I be watching, I don't know, Dora the Explorer? No, no, do not watch kids shows because that's going to make your interest drop. You're not going to be engaged in that. Learning the language should be really good fun. So find something that you find engaging, fun, that gets you hooked onto watching that TV and gets you to want to watch the next episode. And a kids show, I mean, like I said, depending on your age, but a kids show, it's not gonna cut it. Number five for me would be... Ooh, La Reina del Flow. La Reina del Flow is a Colombian soap opera that has had me stuck to the TV for a few months because it's got so many episodes and most importantly, Charlie, aka Carlos Torres. Ay, Dios mío. Carlos Torres es que... Uf. No puedo, no puedo, no puedo. Bueno, Carlos, if you're watching... Un saludito. If you love the Paisa, the Colombian accent, you're going to fall in love with this musical telenovela. The music is so good, the actors are brilliant, and the plot is amazing. You've got all the action, all the drug lords, all the love stories. Oh, so good. Luego tenemos La Casa de las Flores, number four. A Mexican soap opera, una telenovela mexicana, but with a touch of dark humor. Who doesn't love a bit of that? It's like a millennial black comedy drama. A mí me encantó. Número tres. Number three, nos vamos a las españolas. Let me tell you a few uh, from Spain, because we've had a good run in Spain. Let me tell you, we've had some really, really good productions lately. I would recommend Las Chicas del Cable, this 1920s soap opera telenovela style. This 1920s period drama set in mi ciudad, my city, Madrid, uh, stole my heart. I love the characters, I love the actors. Ah, oh, it's just so tastefully done as well. Brilliant, perfecta. Luego tenemos Elite. Ooh, ooh, sube la temperatura también con Elite. <laughs> Elite, aka Elite. Elite is a teenage drama. I recommend it to my students, those that are above the recommended age, because it's very much a teenage series. Es una serie para adolescentes. Y rock and roll, como se decía. Okay, it's got it all. It even has murders in a high school setting. I mean, what else can you expect from there? Lo tiene todo, todo. Y luego, mi favorita, and I'm sure you've heard about this one before, La Casa de Papel. The House of Paper? No, it's translated as money heist into English because it's all about a heist. Va de un atraco, a heist. But in this atraco, they've got some of the most likable thieves and a very smart professor. 
El Profesor. I remember the top three are Spanish from Spain, I've given you one from Spanish uh, from Mexico, and another one from Spanish from Colombia. So you've got a bit of a variety there. But no matter what you do, remember to follow the process, stick to it, because it's going to help you so much immerse in the language. I really hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you like any other series. I'm looking for more series to watch. Which ones are your favorite? Venga, let me know. Esto es todo por ahí. Muchas gracias, my lovelies. Y nos vemos en la próxima. Adiós.